All right, we're just going to finish up um, the quadratic formula by, um, instead of a straightforward equation being given to you, we're going to go through and do an application problem. So this just says a rocket's launched from a 104-foot cliff with an initial velocity of 144 feet per second. And hopefully you guys remember we've seen this formula before. This is an object, um, its height in feet per second and based on gravity and velocity and initial height of the object. So just to remember, the velocity is the initial speed. So I'm going to sub in that 144 feet per second. We're just going to put in 144 for V. And if it's la launched off of a 104 foot cliff, that means the rocket is 104 feet, whoops, sorry, in the air before we launch it. So that's going to be your C value. And if you guys remember this negative 16 out in front, that is just the force of gravity in feet per second. So that's why you'll keep seeing that. So my equation, the height of the object, negative 16 T squared. T represents time in seconds here. 144 T. And then the height of the rocket to start out with is 104 feet. So just subbing some in there. Okay. So just a little sketch. So we're going to launch this rocket and it's already 104 feet in the air. So it's going to go up and then eventually the force of gravity is going to pull it back down to the ground. So just a rough sketch of the flight path there. It says find the time it takes the rocket to reach the maximum height. Well, anytime you see maximum or minimum in a problem, it's got a quadratic equation. It's just asking you for the vertex. And you guys can see from my little sketch of the graph here, um, the vertex is a maximum. It would be the top, everything else is pointed down there towards the ground. Now, the way the equation is laid out, t is where we usually see x. So the time is going to be like your x coordinate, and h is where we usually see y, so the h is going to be the y coordinate. So the time that it takes the rocket to reach the maximum height is just what we would think of as the x coordinate of our vertex. So if you guys remember, I'm just going to write this over here where I have a tiny bit more space. To find the vertex, do negative b over 2a, and then we're going to plug in whatever that value is, negative b over 2a, to get the y coordinate of the vertex. In this case, that'll be the height. Okay, so our time here, opposite of b would be negative 144 over, now remember, you have to either figure this out or put this in parentheses if you want to type this in the calculator, 2 times negative 16. So it should be negative 144 over negative 32. And I'm just going to grab my calculator real quick. The negative should cancel out here, and then that's 4.5. So this is the time and that's going to be in seconds. Now, to get the actual height, you know the time it's going to take, so I know right there that would be 4.5 seconds on my little graph if I wanted to look at that. To get the height, we're just going to plug it in. So the height, negative 16 times your time, which we know is 4.5 seconds, 144 times your time, 4.5 seconds again, plus your initial height, and I'm just going to lay my calculator on here so you guys can see. So negative 16, 4.5 is squared, 144 times 4.5, and 104. So the maximum height there, this is going to be in feet, 428 feet. So it's a little review question there. Okay, now at what time does the rocket reach a height of 343 feet? So they're telling you the height, and this is where we're going to apply solving a quadratic with the quadratic formula. Okay, so I'm just going to take my formula, 343, negative 16 t squared, 144 t, 104. Everything else is the same. Now, here's what we're going to do. We're going to solve this quadratic equation, and anytime you do that, you remember you want to set that equal to zero to start the problem. So first two terms are going to stay the same, and what we're going to do on the end, just do 104 minus 343, and that's going to give me negative 239. Okay. Now, here's your quadratic formula, negative b plus or minus square root b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So we're just going to apply this here. 
you are looking, once your quadratic is set equal to zero, the a, b, and c values. So a there is negative 16, b is going to be the 144, c is going to be negative 239. And we're just plugging this into the calculator. So opposite of b would be negative 144, plus or minus 144 squared minus 4 times negative 16, whoops, times negative 239. And then all over 2 times our a value. Okay, so negative 144 plus or minus. I usually just like to go ahead and do that whole thing on the calculator. So 144 squared minus 4 times negative 16 times negative, whoops, 239. This is going to be 5,440. Bottom of that's negative 32. Okay, now I'm just going to show you how to type this into the calculator. Two possible answers here. I'm going to take negative 144 plus the square root of 5,440. Go ahead, hit equals, divide that by negative 32. So this says, let's just go nearest hundredth. I think that's what it might say in the directions. So I'm going to go 2 point, that would actually round up to 2 0. And then I'm going to repeat the process. So negative 144 minus the square root 5,440. Go ahead, hit equals, divide that by negative 32. This is about 6.8, and then again, to the nearest hundredth, that 4 won't round that up. So here's kind of what this means. This is 4.5 seconds here, right in the middle of my little sketch. So on the way up, we're going to hit that 343 mark somewhere, and then on the way back down, we're going to hit it again. So there are two different times where the rocket is going to reach that height. So just think about, and this is just a little sketch, so maybe like right here and right here. So it hits that height on the way up and it hits that height on the way back down. Now um, the question underneath this just says use the formula to determine the height of the rocket after two seconds. So this is actually kind of a little bit more of a review question. This is just giving you two seconds as the time. So all you have to do here, everywhere you see a T, just go ahead and replace it with two. Okay, so I'm gonna do negative 16 times two squared plus 144 times two plus 104. I got 328. Now, if you again, let me pull this back down so you guys can see my little sketch. If you think about this, on the way up, we're going to hit 328 feet, but we're going to hit that on the way back down as well. So there's a couple ways you could figure this out. Um, what I would tell you is you could use the quadratic formula for this. The other time it will reach 328 feet, use your formula but here I'm going to have the T because I'm going to try to find the other time. I know it hits it at two seconds. So I would do kind of what we did in part D. Set this equal to zero, of course. And then I'm going to do 104 minus that 328, negative 224. Okay, apply the quadratic formula. So opposite of b would be negative 144 plus or minus square root b squared, 144 squared, 4 times the a value, which is negative 16, times the c value, which is negative 224. Everybody, oh, whoops, over 2a, so it's 2 times negative 16. So I got negative 144 plus or minus. And again, I'm just going to grab my calculator to do this. 144 squared minus 4 times negative 16 times negative 224. This is 6,400. Bottom here is negative 32. Now, one of these answers will be 2, and then the other value will give us the other answer. So I'm going to do negative 144 plus the square root of 6,400 divided by negative 32. There's your two. We already know that. 
we want to know the other time it reaches that. So I'm going to do negative 144 minus square root of 6400. Divide that by negative 32. Those negatives are going to cancel out. And that is going to be 7. So that's going to be your answer there, 7 seconds. And the final question, at what time will the rocket come back down to the ground? So if you are on the ground, that means your height is zero. And I'm just going to give you guys a little sketch again. So this rocket is being launched, a 104-foot cliff off the ground. So the quadratic model here looks, you know, just a sketch again, something like this. Um, because we're launching it at a height that is not on the ground, the other answer to this when I do the quadratic formula is going to be negative, and you can't have a negative time. So we'll get into that when we get the quadratic formula. But I'm trying to find the x value here. So uh, what we're going to do is just do a, the quadratic formula again. So the height on the ground is 0. So we're just going to go ahead and use that equation at the top, set equal to 0. And I'm going to do my quadratic formula. So opposite of b be negative 144 plus or minus square root 44 squared minus 4 times negative 16 times 104 here all over 2 times negative 16 and again I just like to simplify with my calculator what's under the square root here I'm not taking the square root yet 144 squared minus 4 times negative 16 times 104 so it's just what's under there big number 27,392, that whole thing is over negative 32, 2 times negative 16. Okay, so I'm going to do negative 144 plus square root 27392. Hit equals and then divide that by negative 32. Now, here you're going to see negative 0.067. Now, that would correspond, I know this is not drawn to scale at all, but that would correspond to this spot. So we can't have a negative time, so we're not going to pick that. Now our other answer is going to be what we want here, which is when this is going to come back down to the ground. So I'm going to do negative 144 minus square root 27392, hit equals, divide that by negative 32, and two decimal places here, this is 9.67. So here would be your 9.67 seconds. That's when the rocket is going to reach back down to the ground.